Ukraine today is joined by the director of the Foundation for German-Polish Cooperation, Mr. Cornelius Ochman. Mr. Ochman, welcome to Ukraine today. Hello. Uh, Mr. Ochman, I understand your foundation has been working for more than 25 years on establishing the bilateral cooperation between Germany and Poland. But just two years ago, when you joined the foundation, you started expanding and including U Ukraine as one of your key areas. Uh, so can you tell about the projects on which, which the foundation is currently supporting here in Ukraine? First of all, thank you over for the invitation. It's uh, really a pleasure to be here in, in Kiev. And uh, as you mentioned, one of my main tasks is to extend the work of the foundation to Eastern Europe, not only to Ukraine. For example, one of our projects is to uh, bring uh, young journalists from Ukraine not from Kiev and not from UTV station, but young people working in small towns in Ukraine to Germany and to Poland. So we are organizing trips to Warsaw, to Berlin. Last week we brought a group of journalists to Hamburg, to the Spiegel uh, 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 leading German magazine. It's one of our projects. Well, um, I understand uh, there are also uh, several other projects which you're supporting, namely you are bringing the young people from eastern Ukraine to travel to Germany, Poland and even France. And I assume that most of them uh, must be traveling abroad for the first time. How exactly. do they feel when they appear, when they find themselves in a different world? I think they are really surprised uh, why uh, the Germans uh, are not uh, interested so deep in the development in, in Ukraine. I often have the feeling that the Ukrainians are thinking the uh, Germans, Poles uh, are dealing with uh, Ukraine every day or every hour. And uh, it's not true because we have different other problems in, in Europe and Ukraine uh, and, and the Russian invasion in eastern Ukraine is only one of the challenges in the European Union. So, um, Mr. Cornelius, you joined the foundation uh, two yeah. years ago, right before the events which are now known in, in Ukraine as the Euromaidan revolution. So how challenging was your work during these two years? Yes, of course, it was a big challenge because uh, the uh, uh, foundation hadn't been prepared for such a changes in Eastern Europe. Uh, and we react immediately. I mean, in, in, in uh, January 2014, uh, the board decided to extend our program to uh, Ukraine to invite uh, not only young people but uh, to invite experts uh, as you know we uh, just uh, have uh, presented a report here here in Kiev about the uh, view of Ukraine in Germany and in, in, in Poland. So from my point of view we uh, have uh, reacted uh, directly. But of course the challenges are, 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 are really deep. I think we, we should try to explain to the people in Germany and in Poland that Ukraine cannot stay alone with, uh, with the challenges and we will try in the future to extend our programs in, in Ukraine. Mr. Cornelius, with uh, the real war uh, raging in eastern Ukraine, um, there is also a great deal of information war happening um, on the European continent, which is mostly um, triggered by Russia. So Russian information war is very extensively penetrating the European mass, mass media. Uh, with what you are learning on the ground, both in Poland and, and Germany, what are the perceptions of the events by Polish and German people of the events which are happening here in Ukraine and namely in West in Eastern Ukraine. Okay, first of all, there are big differences between the reception in Poland and in Germany. The Russian propaganda has no chance in Poland because the interest of the Polish media is uh, uh, much uh, deeper as the German media. So the Poles uh, 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 get a lot of information from the own media. But there is different uh, uh, situation in, in, in Germany. A, a lot of, of, of uh, uh, Germans are influenced by the Russian propaganda. But in my opinion, the, this propaganda is too aggressive. The Germans are overloaded by uh, uh, Russian uh, uh, media, by Russian propaganda, and the Germans are not interested in propaganda. The Germans 
are interested in information and on the basis of this information the people the people decide by say uh, by themselves uh, what they think about the development and from this point of view i think the uh, uh, russian pr propaganda is too aggressive and uh, uh, not so influential as the uh, russians uh, means would you say that russia starts losing information war in germany Yes, the Russian media are on the best way to, to, to lose on influence because they are too aggressive. What about um, Ukrainian uh, media? What about um, information which the Germans receive from uh, the events, about the events in Ukraine from the Ukrainian media? Is it coming through? Unfortunately not, but I think it's not the best way to uh, uh, inform the Germans. I think the best way is to support, uh, for example, German TV here as uh, Deutsche Welle or uh, uh, invite uh, correspondents from, from, from Germany to uh, uh, Ukraine, to Kiev, to give them a chance to create their own information basis. On, on this basis, the people in Germany will decide in own responsibility what they think. Your foundation works on cooperation between the two nations, Poland and, Ger and Germany. And Poland has been very strong in supporting Ukraine in this, in this war and standing against Russia, whereas Germany was um, rather restrained, um, and, and especially the German chancellor uh, was, was, was quite restrained in, 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 in their remarks on, on supporting Ukraine and pressuring Russia. And a, a lot of people here in Ukraine uh, would like to see more proactive approach from, from Germany. Do you think this is possible sometime in the future that Germany will make, will have a uh, stronger position on this issue? Uh, I'm not a, a speaker of the German government, but I think that the, uh, the German government, especially Chancellor Merkel, are uh, still playing a, a role of a, a good uh, makler in this in, 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 in this situation and if you uh, uh, see the uh, German economic interests uh, in, in, in Russia which uh, uh, are ten times higher than uh, in the Ukraine so I think from this point of view, uh, uh, Germany are not supporting Russia, are not supporting Ukraine. We are interested in a clear solution of this complicated situation. And uh, Germany will try to support a, a peaceful solution of the conflict in eastern Ukraine. If putting politics aside yeah. um, and uh, talking about the people, you just said that um, the Germans are fed up with Russian propaganda. Uh, they are overloaded with it. They, they stopped believing it. Yeah. So uh, would you say that uh, the Germans, the, the, the ordinary people in Germany, um, are also fed up with Russia? Not at all, not at all, because uh, uh, German population is uh, uh, really in a situation in which the people are uh, uh, not interested in conflicts. So this peaceful uh, uh, behavior of, 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 of uh, Germany is uh, in, this, in this situation uh, uh, maybe a problem. But it's a result of, of, of the changes in, in, in Germany after the Second World War. So from this point of view, the people uh, are not interested in uh, any support in of, of Russia or any support in, 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 uh, of, of Ukraine, and uh, uh, they are overloaded by conflict. Let's take the uh, situation in Greece. We have got uh, more than 300,000 refugees from Southern Europe, from, from North Africa. And uh, on this basis, uh, in the Germans are in very uh, uh, difficult situation uh, at the moment and uh, we are very happy that uh, our eastern neighbors, I mean um, Poles, are much more interested in, in, in Ukraine than, than we are and we hope that uh, uh, the Poles will manage the situation there and we can concentrate on other conflicts.
Well, let's hope that uh, the Germans will at some point become more interested in this situation and this conflict as well, because uh, this really poses a threat to, to the entire European continent. Mr. Ahmad, many thanks for coming to us and talking to us. This was Vladimir Sulu for Ukraine Today, together with the director of the Foundation for German-Polish Cooperation, Mr. Cornelius Ochman. Thank you for watching us.